Hello guys, my name is Polina and today we're going to talk about GA4, finally, the first video of the GA4 course for new users. So first of all, what is GA4? This is a new version of the property in Google Analytics account. Previously, we were talking about Universal Analytics, which is just the older version of GA4. GA4 was launched in 2020 and there as soon as we we're gonna have ua deprecated next year in the summer we need to be prepared for ga4 right now so as soon as possible you're gonna transfer uh, data collection of your website to ga4 there are more data the more historical data you're gonna have in the account later so let's start what we have to do right now is just to create account first of all it's just you need to understand if you're gonna create account it means that you are creating for the separate, separate let's say business separate website if you would like to have it connected under the same account for the same website uh, your universal analytics property and G4 property, you are just going to the admin section of your account already. And you are going to the second column here. You can create property. It's going to be the separate property, or you can go through the GA4 setup assistant. It's going to be faster. Why it's going to be faster? Because uh, a lot of settings will be just duplicated, copied to the new property. So uh, after you're clicking GA4 setup assistant, you can see that you have two options. Um, the active one you are choosing, <laughs> let's say, uh, because this is which, um, what's going to work for you. I want to create a new Google Analytics for property. You click get started. And here you can see what this setup assistant will do for you. It's going to create GA4 property. It's going to copy basic settings from your universal analytics property. So it makes even things a lot easier for you and it's going to turn enhanced measurement so um enhanced measurement is going to measure interactions with your content and some of the events uh, will be automatically collecting data in the account um, so what do you need to do it's just to click create property And you can see that you just have successfully connected your properties. You created account, um, I'm sorry, created property of GA4. So you can just uh, click go to your GA4 property. And it's loading. Okay. <laughs> I'm loading and the account is loading and you can see that here is set up assistant set up these features to get the most out of your new property. You can see uh, some data collection information, some property settings. So here you just need to do is what you need to do to go to data stream. It's here on the left, the force uh, tab. You click here. And here data stream is already already collected. So what we can uh, verify if the data is coming to the records. Just let me see. In the real time, if any users, this is my website, as you remember, let me refresh the page and we'll see. So you can see that the data is not coming to GA4 property because um, even though it was connected, uh, the data, like their G tag was not implemented and you gonna implement it um, in the next video. I'm gonna show it to you. Uh, but anyway, as soon as you have analytics created of G for property, you can see that you have here two columns, account property view column is missing and here uh, in the same in the same account, you have Universal Analytics property and GA4 property. The website was copied, the information, the basic settings was copied. So using this GA4 setup assistant was like uh, really saving your time. If you'd like to create a property separately, not using the setup assistant or separately in the account, you're gonna click here or here. So in this case, you're gonna paste the property name separately. You're gonna set up time zone, set up um, a currency and so on. So you're gonna just go in step by step using this GA4 setup assistant, just like saving your time, as I said. But 
uh, in this kind of option, you will still need to implement GA4 tag to start collecting data. And about that, we're going to talk in this in the next video. So please subscribe to our channel. Don't miss next video. And I'm going to tell you how to implement and how to start collecting data. Really important moment um, to see to later analyze your website activity. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a good one. I will see you. Bye.